Look out. I think someone's coming. Come on, let's get out of here. Quick, after them. Even if you burn out the motor, step on it! This is car 25. The escaping car is license plate number 4252ST65 and is making for Belfort. We've lost contact. The men in the car are armed. Paul, take one of the side roads. The main roads are being watched. And the cops? Don't worry about them. We seem to have lost them for the moment. If we don't get there soon, he's not going to make it. He's bleeding badly. And if he dies? Shut your mouth and watch what you say. In the past, so now he deserves a little help from us. And I know he'd be the first to thank you. Okay, okay, can the sloppy talk. We've got to transport Sir Ned across country and deliver him alive. to an important turnoff. When you come to the next crossing, take a left. Well, how is it? It looks like the breeding has stopped. This pulse is weak, but it's holding steady. All right, boys, nap's over. Wake up. The professor needs a human brain to save Sernette's life. He even thought one of ours might have done. Let's hope Dr. Ritter can come up with an idea so we can avoid that sacrifice. I'll have just a little drink. You do that. Get the old brain going. Hmm, that's not going to be easy. It'd be like betting our heads on the turn of a card. It'd be a wonderful solution. But I'll have to make more tests before choosing the happy victim. I don't like the tone of yours, Doctor. What about the old man, the butler? Don't be ridiculous. Can it, you fool. Time's running out, Doctor. You've been practicing for years now. Try to remember if you've ever treated a wounded man who might be useful. Come on. Hmm. But of course, my notebook. I used to... I used to take down all the details about my patients in here. There must be someone listed in here that could serve our purpose. I think I've got it. Wonderful. Who is it? It was a long time ago. I operated on a man who you all know. He's our best bet. So tell me, who is it? Your worst enemy. The man Sernet hates the most. The sadist. That's the one. It'll be a pleasure. But it won't be that easy catching him. I'll leave that up to the two of you. And don't come back without his head. Remember, it's either the sadist's head or yours. Wouldn't it be better to find someone else? No. And don't forget to get rid of the rest of the body. Wait a minute. Just to keep our professor in line, nab his daughter. Henry, you can't do that. Take her over to Ingrid's and step on it. We haven't much time. Really? Oh, shut up. Don't worry.
All right, now cut off his head. Why me? Because you're a killer, aren't you? But that's different. This is something else again. Now, why don't you tell Henry that? I'm not a butcher. See what happens, huh? Come on. Do it. No, you started the job, so it's up to you to finish it off. You've been paid. Uh, okay, I'll do it. Oh, hell. There are dogs around here someplace. Come on, quick. Help me. We can't leave this body here. And so what do we do now? We could take the body back as it is, and Dr. Reedy could chop its head off. Wonderful. And what do you suppose Henry will do with ours? Shit, you're right. Well, there's no other way but to carry out the orders we were given. The knife. What have you done with it? I uh, lost it. Your father sure course. has made our evening. Well, we must find the answer. Let's try and use what's left of our brains, huh? What do you say? Hey, wait a sec. What? I got it. I saw the problem. Oh, yeah? Well, check it out. We'll lay him on the railroad track. And when the next train passes, clunk! Huh? And how long do we have to wait for a train to pass oh, by? Oh, come on. Don't be so pessimistic. One will come along. You'll see. Stop the van. Come on, put it down. We miss that one, damn it. Sure. And we'll be old and gray by the time the next one turns up. Come on, shut up. Help me. Yeah, that's right. Great. Yeah. All right. Come on now. Let's take cover. Come on. Now, this time we'll be in luck. You think so? Henry will be mad at us if it goes wrong, and if I know him, our heads will suffer the same fate as the sadists. Jeez, would you just keep quiet? You're making me nervous. I'm, I'm sorry. Paul, don't get cross, okay? I won't say another word. Incredible, is it? that? Just never family. I'm sure she doesn't know a thing. Don't be deceived by appearances, and certainly not by women. Fantastic. It's on the front page. A decapitated man's body was found early this morning on the railroad track southeast of Paris. <sighs> Due to the missing head, it's impossible to identify the man. The sadist friends are going to be sick as hell. I'd love to be a fly on the wall when they open up that package. You've done a fine job, my boys. Turnette's going to be very pleased with you. Now then, take the paper to him. Go on. Uh, wait. I think he's with Ingrid at the moment. <laughs> Ingrid is in grave danger. We've got to help her. They made me talk too much, but I was trying to protect her. That's the truth, Henry. I couldn't bear to hear them torturing her like that. Were they the sadist boys? Willie, Barbara. I just can't believe such cruelty is possible. Tell me, who did this to you? What can it matter now? Forgive Draw me. Draw a burial. I see no reason why quite soon you shouldn't take a walk in the park if everything goes as well as it has up till now. What is happening to me? Something has changed in me. Tell me what it is, Professor. It's still too early for a diagnosis. The problems have yet to manifest themselves. Last night I had... I had this terrible pain in my head. And then I had a thought that frightened me. I'm not the same man. Pour me out a cup, Carl. We've got to keep wide awake. We all need to do that. It seems ages since I last slept. And it may last some time more. Every day I'm more afraid of seeing the sun go down. I don't like this damn country silence. Willie's just trying to make us nervous. Seems he's succeeding with you. Oh, only me? I rather think we all are, Henry. No. Oh, no, you can't say otherwise. You're worried about Willie, too, but much more about Sernet, like his reactions, for instance. You can't deny it. Cut it out. Isn't it time you relieve Paul? Oh, I guess so. Another way of passing time. Carl, keep your eyes skinned. Sure. The time they've been open, there's no need for that. 
Look what I found next to Paul's body. What are you talking about? Some friends who don't care for you too much. And now the poor doctor's going to have some company. I hope there won't be any more. Save the jokes for later, Carl. Okay. Okay. Throw down the weapon. Do as I say. What's gotten into you, Henry? You swine. Where's Sernet? In his room, where he's supposed to be. Where else? Well, he isn't. He's escaped and you let him out. Henry, I swear, you've got it all wrong. Start praying. Henry, believe me. I don't have the faintest idea where you could be. Henry, you've got to believe me. Help! Help me, someone! them. Shut up and lock yourself up in a room now. Hurry it up. What are you doing? <laughs> Get the hell out of here. But, but they'll kill me. Uh, they're looking for Sunet. Hand him over for God's sakes, Professor. You'll be saving everyone that way, including your family. No, you can forget that. I'll never let him go. In that case, defend yourself. Shoot at them as they come through the door and kill them all. I'm going to hand you over, Sunet. I'm not going to die for you. There's no one here. Where are you? Come out, you bastard. 